first one introduction a building is classified in main two types first one is based on occupancy second one based on a structure based on the occupancy building classified as first one is the residential building and second one is the public building it's nothing but the building used for the residential purpose is called residential building the building used for the public purpose is called a public building first one is the residential building residential building classified in three types first one is the bungalows apartment row houses first one bungalow what is meant by bungalow it is a free standing residential building is a building whose walls or a roof is independent with other building with open space on all sides this is the simple picture of a bungalow you can see that this is the free standing residential building with all four sides are open okay now the advantages of uh, bungalow uh, lights and a ventilation can be properly used next one individual space for a future expansion next one more safety than apartment and more space to utilization then the disadvantages of bungalow higher in a cost this is next one this is the simple picture of a apartment what is meant by apartment apartment is unit of two or more rooms providing accommodation for one family next one generally each apartment contain 3 to 4 rooms with usual amenities next one in multi storied building 3 to 4 flats are provided at each story with one common centralized staircase okay this is the simple description of a apartment and it's called the apartment okay what are the advantages and disadvantages of apartment first one advantages more population can be accommodated in limited area and second one flats are cheaper than the individual bungalows okay disadvantages of apartment privacy of individual family get disturbed second one limitations of space and third one difficulties in individual right okay now row houses a row house is one of a group of a low rise residential building that share one or a both side walls of a roof line with the structure next door okay then a row houses is a single family dwelling unit which is arranged in a row with a other dwelling units attached to each other by common wall okay this is the simple picture of a row you can say that all the structures are look like a similar and that's why it's called the row houses with a same structure okay what are the advantages of row houses always trending next one faster in construction as all the structure or a plan is the same economical and maximum privacy disadvantages orientation and ventilation is to be compromised because row houses are connected with each other or sometime the wall of both uh, plants is the is same that's why okay then the public building public building is classified as educational building health building hotels and offices okay first one we see educational building educational building this is occupancy type shall include any building or a portion in which education training and care are provided to children or adult sub divided into means educational building is sub divided into first one is higher secondary level second one is training center and above secondary level and third one is a preschool okay then health building under this occupancy group shall include those used of a purpose of providing medical care diagnostic facilities and treatment to persons suffering from a physical discomfort in which sleeping accommodation may or may not be provided health is subdivided into hospitals pathology laboratories etc okay next one hotels 
Those are the you building under a single management in which sleeping accommodation with or without dining facility is provided. Hotels subdivided into lodging and restaurant. Next one, offices and commercial building. Those are the building which are used for a transaction of businesses for keeping of accounts and a records. Next one, the building used for professional establishment service facilities etc for example our offices is subdivided into bank office of engineers lawyers doctors etc okay those are the included in the office or commercial building okay now in this video we see the classification of building building is mainly classified into two residential building and a public building there are the some classification of residential building that is the first one is bungalow apartment row houses and public building is subdivided into educational building health building hotels office and a commercial building okay i hope everyone understand thank you